All right, beautiful people, welcome back to another round of Tiberian Sun on the map terraces. That uh, power plant should have been a bit higher up, but that's okay. And uh, I'm playing in top left, and today is a um, lesson in top left, or maybe just some interesting thoughts that uh, you may find uh, useful in your gameplay. Um, and what I want to do is start with the problem of top left, because I think there's there's um, a potential solution or way to mitigate the biggest problem in top left and that is its limited supply of Tiberium in this uh, little patch and that causes a lot of problems and one of the ways that people deal with that limited amount of Tiberium is to um, one ref or two ref or three ref because then they can do some damage before they need to expand out to this uh, second Tiberium patch um, so it's a very interesting issue, um, but I think there is, in fact, another way to go about it, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, so I'm going for two Tiberium uh, silos that aren't going to put me on low power. It's going to be at 100, uh, but selling that one silo means that I'm now on 90. And uh, running out of money now, so I need to sell that. Okay, just got to concentrate. Okay. All right, so it looks like we've got those um, two refs, those two halves in order. Uh, and you can see that there is um, two refs and three halves, and we're running out of money. So the infantry rush is done. And the idea here is that... Um, get rid of that uh, silo because we can get some more money from that. The idea here is that we don't want to hold on to any more than uh, two refs. And if we place a ref here, then we've got to keep um, all of them because otherwise we'll overload this one. Um, having three halves to one uh, ref. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the idea here is that now we have um, two halves and two refs instead of three ha uh, three sorry three refs because we'd be broke. Um, that's why we're going to place a refinery down here. Um, but that means that we need to really carefully manage our halves so we don't get crossover. But as soon as there is crossover, it looks like I've actually got these guys in sync. Normally when I do this, it's a bit more problematic. So I think this is a good um, four ref. But now you can see this is also potentially a five ref. Um, and one of the reasons this is so useful is that if you have five halves down here and then you've got one ref there and you send those five halves over and let's just pretend that infantry is now dead uh, they've just gone and attacked um, our opponent um, if you have these um, five harvesters and that's funny how this guy drives over there um, I'm just going to keep building at the same time just so you can see how things work but if you have these five um, halves that would normally drive over here. You've now got one uh, refinery there, one refinery there, and these five halves are going to overload that one little refinery. So that's one of the other big problems. It's not just that you run out of money so quickly and you've got to defend uh, two territories, but also that you have these um, harvesters driving from here all the way to this side um, to get to this refinery. And so what you're going to see is that once we get to the point um, that we uh, have... Well, I mean, we're going to run out of Tiberium here a lot more slowly. Um, so that means that we can actually, once we've teched up and going to our next uh, uh, refinery, that we're still chewing up this Tiberium here before sending all, over all those units. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. Is that we, The second thing we're trying to achieve here is, by, um, is to reduce the amount of um, overload on that one uh, refinery that we're getting. Um, by, uh, you know, placing down the right amount of halves and then transitioning these um, harvesters over as appropriate. So you can see that we've now got um, no synchronization problems yet. We're not getting crossover. We may start to see some problems now. Uh, no, it's going pretty good. So let's say that we're now moving on to our two um, disruptors for an attack. Uh, we can you obviously choose any, any pathway we want to. Um, using that uh, Tiberium coming straight off the tree because that does uh, regenerate is a really good idea as well. Okay, now when this harvester comes out, we're going to then transition it over to this one because we're about to put down our next uh, harvester. Um, 
Oh, sorry, our next, uh, what is it? Refinery. Sorry, guys, as usual, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. So now we don't have this issue of the harvesters overloading this one little refinery and then us scrambling, and our cash flow is solid. That's why we have 3,500 in the bank. And this is how you play a... Uh, economy position in top left and it's a bit different from what you normally would and actually if I was watching things even more closely you'd actually position the refinery here not here because that means you're reducing that amount of uh, travel distance for the um, for the uh, harvesters so now we're getting a crossover we can see that happening uh, don't know why that's happening um, probably because there's a distance now they're traveling further and they're jamming up the refineries but having one crossover um, isn't too bad actually it looks like there's a second one that's what you'll notice is if you see um, a harvester then going back to a different patch they probably I think they originally came from that patch so we want to keep um, three uh, harvesters here and you can see as I said we're not jamming up um, that additional refinery uh, sorry that single refinery or those two because you would normally have uh, maybe five harvesters coming over that join that um, sixth harvester that's already down there and jamming them all up now um, what we don't want to do is to uh, make a fourth um, refinery down there Okay, just dealing with these issues from not... Now, one of the other things you'll notice... Actually, what I might do is just uh, stop all my harvesters to just reflect on what's going on here. So, four harvesters, five... Oh, sorry, three refineries, three harvesters, two refineries. That should really reduce the amount of crossover issues that you're having. Um, now, you might say that um, one of the issues with this type of build is that uh, you're now expanding the defense area that you need to make for... Um, GDI and that's correct but the interesting thing is and this is something I wanted to say earlier but I didn't have the opportunity is that you can actually sell that single refinery that's down here and then migrate those two harvesters to join the other three if you're doing a five ref or two if you're doing a two ref and then you can uh, well if it's a five ref you've already got those two harvests sorry those two refineries there and now you've got a five harvester two refinery which is optimal you don't want um more than that obviously six you're going to have waiting issues um, and that area is completely sold off and you've also preserved a bit of the um, Tiberium down there while you know um, so you can actually sell off so it is redundant and then you can rebuild out to this section when you're ready but uh, as, as I said you've got four harvesters um, three there and that's how you make a um, high efficiency or I should say high economy uh, in top left which is normally not possible because uh, you just can't get too many harvesters on this patch so something to experiment with as I said some of the issues are that you need to get those uh, harvesters really um, well synchronized otherwise you will get crossovers and when this harvester goes here that's going to block up this refinery and this harvest is going to go there and that is a nightmare that's um, the issue you're trying to stop when um, you know by using this strategy so you can see these harvesters are taking much longer to go through this um, path and if you see that you can see that line crossing it over you stop that one send him in here stop that one and send him in there um, and usually as I said uh, you normally don't just get one crossover one crossover actually causes the second crossover and that's how you get um, pandemonium in your economy and that's why people go completely bankrupt in top left when they've only got uh, one refinery here maybe one refinery here and one there uh, this strategy also prevents the issue of having the uh, harvester sorry the refinery here and uh, getting that um, disruptor coming and shooting um, beneath the cliff which is just a nightmare of a thing to deal with so anyway guys hope you find that useful and i'll catch you later